guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with my um, flower fairy journal yet again. Now it's pretty stuffed as you can see. It's pretty much finished. I just need to fill the pockets. Although where I actually think I'm going to manage to fill them, I have no idea because it's pretty chunky already. So I wanted to come along and just, um, you know, decorate the cover really. Uh, just to finish it off. Now I've got some flower fairy bits that I've got here ready, um, what do you call them, you know, single side laminated. Um, yeah, just want to kind of pick which one I want to use. Got a few different ones. I have to say these are really lovely. So let me just quickly cut this out. So when you do the single side laminated, you know, the key is to back it. So it's back to back. And that's how you get the obviously, you know, you can then put your fingers in and separate it out like that. And then you can sometimes tear it, but yeah, if not, you can just cut it down. Like that. Okay, oops, use the noise. Um, and then I can decide which one that I want to use. So yeah, I mean, they're all quite nice, to be honest. That's very cute. This one, she may be a bit sort of dull on that cover because it's, yeah, it's, it's blue. So it's not kind of the brightest anyway, or this one. Um, I'm thinking this, yeah, for me, this just looks straight away. It kind of had a bit of a standout feel from the rest. So I'm just going to snip the little remaining bits of the laminate off. Okay, so... Obviously, you know, the beauty of the single side laminated is that then we've got um, a gluable side, you know, a really good gluable side. So that's why we that's why we do the single side laminated in the first place. Um, I've just put it on the floor. Hold on. <laughs> right. Let me bring it back in. So, yeah, what I want to do probably then is put some bits and pieces around on here and then I will probably take it to the sewing machine um, to finish it off. So I'm going to move the cover out of the way. And we're just going to kind of like, you know, embellish and decorate it up. So I'm just pulling in oops, anything and everything that I've got laying around on, you know, beside me. And then I will take it to the sewing machine. So, I mean, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is just glue these things now. Obviously, I'm not expecting them to sort of stay glued, if you see what I mean. I mean, I'm gluing this with wet glue onto this shiny single side laminated. So, I mean, I'm not expecting that to kind of stay glued, but I just want to have it held in place enough so that when I take it to the sewing machine, I haven't completely forgotten what, you know, what I thought I wanted to go where, because that's quite likely otherwise that I will, will have forgotten. So, just going to layer it up, maybe have variety of bits going on okay so I've also got some pom-pom here which may be quite cute on here so oops again just kind of take that down I mean I'm literally just pulling in you know anything that happens to be laying around on the desk to be honest so really not kind of um you know paying it any attention particularly to you know what I'm kind of bringing in I'm just if it's if it's laying about and I think it may vaguely vaguely go then it's it's on so yeah not got any um you know any fixed plan or anything else I just think you know the more interest that I can put on this then the better really so yeah just literally anything and everything is going to go on this so you know I'm going to build it up so that size-wise, it's just kind of bigger than it's, it currently is, if you see what I mean. So, yep, I quite like that pom-pom there. So, again, I'm going to just glue this on. Now, I must say I do find this pom-pom pretty fiddly. So, yeah, just going to glue that like that. And again, you know, I've hardly put any glue really on there. I just want it to stay enough for when I get to the sewing machine. You know, because I'm not going to remember otherwise. By the time I get there, all the bits will be dropping off and I'm not going to remember what, you know, what bits I wanted where. So, I've got some more pretty ribbon there. That's quite cute, isn't it? So, I'm 
so we could have that there. Um, I've also got some ribbon. I don't know, I keep on pulling this ribbon in, but I just think, oh, this might look quite cute somewhere on here. So maybe even under coming out. Oh, that looks really sweet, doesn't it? So yeah, just going to trim that off. So I can glue this down with the wet glue because obviously this is, you know, the underside is not laminated. So it's going to be nice and nice and glueable. Oops, let's turn that over. So like that. Okay. Ooh. Like that. And then now I've got some of this gorgeous embroidery on glaze type lace. So we could even have that kind of coming out under there that looks quite pretty doesn't it you know so we've just got really an abundance of different layers going on so I'm gonna have to glue that down with the wet glue because otherwise it's just yes yeah, just moving around all over the place so yeah but I'm then thinking hmm, what am I thinking I'm not sure oh that is rather cute there so, yeah, again, just go across there with my hot glue. I'm going to put it up a bit like that. Okay. I just wonder whether I could come round. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? That looks lovely, doesn't it? So, again, just go along there with a bit of the glue like that just ruffling it on a little bit so hopefully whoops you know when I get to the sewing machine it's kind of got ooh, a bit of a ruffle kind of effect going on there you know prior to actually sewing it oh that is so cute I just love how that looks so far right let me bring in the cover and see how we're getting on so Oh, how cute does that look? Just going to raise my camera slightly because I'm not sure that I'm getting all of this in frame. It's, it's you know, really tough to kind of fit it in. But yeah, I mean, that looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? Love how that looks so far. Um, right, actually, just before I move it, I've got some of those blue flower trims. So let's just see. Just see whether... Because obviously, you know, it's going on to this blue cover. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe kind of incorporate a bit of blue. That's quite cute. So again, just like layering, just, you know, layering all different sort of textures and um, laces. You know, that are just literally off cuts. You know, I know I'm really waffling on and sort of saying this repeatedly. But honestly, because, yeah, they're just, just the stuff that's laying around about on the desk so um yeah like that that's rather cute isn't it well let's see what else we've got so I mean you know because obviously you know I've been doing sort of different things I've got lots of different bits and pieces laying around which is you know fantastic to be able to sort of build up you know interesting looks I suppose so yeah this can go here Again, just pop some glue on there and then, okay, like that. I suspect I've glued it more to the craft mat than I have to my piece, but, oh well. Oh, I mean, how gorgeous is this looking? It's just coming together so prettily, isn't it? You know, so don't be afraid to kind of just layer up a whole bunch of different um, bits and pieces. Because, I mean, actually, you know, we're being really random here, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not normally this um, this eclectic or this brave in my choices, but you know, it's actually working really, really well. I'm just reaching behind me into my oops bag that's behind me, just in case, because I've got this crochet lace. I'm thinking, should I put the whole thing on some crochet? So again, I'm just going to bring the cover in. 
just see because I mean I've got lots of crochet going on on the cover um, you know so just by tying that in is perhaps quite a good idea so I'm just going to cut this down here now with the crochet lace I like to just kind of like cut tear which it just gives a bit of a you know scraggly scraggly sort of appearance this one's actually not that easy to do but yeah if you just put your scissors in and then just sort of you know tear it more against the blade rather than cutting then you do get this really wonderful you know effective looking edge well i i think it's wonderful and effective you might be thinking oh my goodness that just looks a right mess and that's fine <laughs> that's fine if that's what you're thinking because you know my mum would definitely be thinking that you know what are you talking about that just looks terrible she'd be saying but yeah i really like that sort of um messy look or we could just have the lace kind of glued onto the cover separately so you know perhaps the um the topper is perhaps wide enough and we'd be better off now putting the lace onto the cover rather than the topper yeah i think perhaps we'll do that so i'm going to take the top take the topper straight to the sewing machine and just quickly um stitch around it now i'm just quickly having a look before i do that i'm just seeing whether i've got any flowers that i would like to add on to here so oh and i thought actually i've just spotted i've got a little bit of lilac lace so you could definitely have that lilac lace maybe oh just there that's very cute so again just go in there like that yeah I mean that flower looks cute there doesn't it and maybe even just put one of these as the center oh that looks so pretty doesn't it yeah okay so and that again that's just tying that blue in from the cover so it's quite a nice way to bring the colors together isn't it okay like that right so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now again I'm not quite sure how I'm going to actually stitch around this yet so I'm just going to go for eclectic stitching I don't want to kind of make it too neat and tidy or anything so I'm just going to stitch where I can there might be parts where I'm going to struggle to stitch at all um you know like for instance down here because of course I've got those pom-poms now but I'm just going to see how it goes and kind of stitch you know wherever I possibly can so I'll be back in a minute okay so I'm back from the sewing machine so I'll just quickly show you so I did stitch these you know I didn't stitch round in one kind of hit I just stitched across and then across and I managed to stitch under here a little bit to just hold the ribbon and the lace together um, I managed to stitch on top of the like kind of border here of the pom-poms and then I just stitched kind of down there. So everything is now stitched on, um, but I did it in separate pieces rather than one fell swoop because, you know, I just felt that actually I would probably have struggled to get everything, um, you know, stitched going around in one go. So, yeah, that's how I've done it. So let's bring that cover back in. Okay. Right, just cut some of my threads off. Okie dokie. I mean, I don't mind threads, but yeah, they're probably a little bit too too many and too long. So, like that. Now, I loved the look of that crochet up here, I have to say. So, yeah, definitely, definitely want to put some of that up there. That just looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? So I'm just going to glue that and yeah, I'm just going to hot glue that down. Whoops, I've had a bit of an accident and gone way off, way off the cover. Okay, so yeah, just going to glue that down like that. Okay, and then here, I think we'll just glue this down now. I want to glue it down now. Yeah. So I'm going to do generous helping of the hot glue all the way around the edge. And then, of course, through the middle of there as well. Because I want it glued down, you know, really sort of thoroughly. 
Okay, like that. Press that down. Okay. Oh, I mean, how yummy does that look? I mean, it's hard not to look yummy because those flower fairy images are so gorgeous, aren't they? I mean, just how could they not look? How could they not look lovely? Okay, right, so that is that. Now, I'm wondering about up here whether to have a little bow. Now, could do a sari silk bow, but this might be going to be too bright purple you know that it will look really out of place but let's give it a try so I'm just going to quickly tie a little bow oh and you do you know what I should have done I should have put some um sorry silk or something under here as the closure I just totally didn't really think to do that so yeah okay right so have this bow, let's just snip that down, or we could even have it, oh that's quite pretty down there actually, yeah that is quite pretty, now let me just see, because I want to now incorporate a little bit more of that purple sari silk, so as it looks like it's actually tied in with something else, so I'm just going to see whether I could have a bit sort of ruffled up here maybe. Or down this edge. That might look quite nice. Hmm. Right, let's glue this bow in place. Okie doke. Like that. Okay. Let's just sort out that pom pom. That's kind of like just annoyingly. <laughs> through the hole of that bow okay there we go oh that looks so cute doesn't it i love those sari silk bows i have to say they just look really 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 pretty don't they right now so this sari silk i have to just decide would i want it ruffled up here or is that a little bit too you know too obvious in which case would i like it just kind of just maybe like a little bit of ruffle around there that might look quite cute. I don't want it so, um, you know, like, oh, that's the obvious place to put it. I don't want it to have that, you know, ooh, obvious, obvious place appearance. I want it to look a little bit more. Ooh, that's, that's an interesting way to have put that. So, um, yeah, let's just bring the sari silk in. Now, I'm just going to do it in that method that I've been using lately where I just kind of stitch and ruffle. A stitch? Stick. Stick and ruffle, not stitch. No, I'm not stitching at all. Um, right, now I have got a little bit of a seam in there, but hopefully that's fine. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. Like that. Just to get me started. And just kind of ruffle that across there. Like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to take it around here but maybe not quite so ruffled, if you see what I mean. So just a bit there. A bit of loose ruffling, but yeah, not quite as ruffled as the rest, if you see what I mean. So just a little bit more flat there. Now I'm just going to tear this down. Oops, well, perhaps not. Perhaps I have to cut that. Just where like the obvious end of that came. So yeah. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let me just have a look. I'm perhaps just going off there. So again, just pop a little bit of glue down. And then we can just, yeah, finish that off like that. Okay, so that looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, let me just bit more glue down just so that that's properly stuck okay yep looks very very pretty I have to say um, now what else what else what else you know because I mean I, I love to have a really fussy cover you know because if you can't be fussy on the cover then you know where can you be to be honest so yeah to go all out on the cover is is really fun isn't it 
wondering whether we could have a little bit of um, purple down here, like in the form of a little bit of a ruffle. What do we think? Yeah. I mean, it looks fine without it, to be honest. It does look fine without it. Um, but it does look fine with it as well. So, yeah, let's just ruffle a bit of this up. So, you know, because it just then adds a bit more interest, makes it a bit more fun to look at. And, yeah, just um, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Is, you know, making it a bit more fun to look at and... Um, you know, a bit different. So, just going to glue this down. Okay. So again, just run some glue straight across there, and then, uh, you know, just exactly as we're doing with the sorry silk, basically. But here, just using the ribbon instead. Just going to do that dovetail chop. So, oops. Oh my goodness, how fiddly is this? Yeah, like that. Oh my goodness, I mean, not really a dovetail, to be honest, more like a, I don't know, just wonky, wonky tail. But anyway, it's it's fine. Right, now I'm just wondering whether I could have one of my little um, bobs, one of these, anywhere. Just because, again, you know, it's just nice to have um, more, 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 more stuff on there. So, um, yeah, if we can kind of incorporate something else, then it's it's fun to do. Oh, that's quite cute there. Right, let me just bring in, you know, my wax cabashions. So, yeah, let's bring those in. I mean, I seem to have quite a few purpley type ones oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look I love how that looks I might even have to have another one of these to be honest, somewhere else because they are just yummy on this cover aren't they yeah really really yummy on this cover I have to say mm. loving this one just here so I'm just going to glue this one down love that colour on here really pretty okay now just thinking might need to just glue a little bit under there because that lace wasn't glued down I'd left the lace flapping we'd only put glue obviously under the picture so now it's got sort of the cabashion I didn't want the lace moving around too much so yeah right now I don't want it in a line with that one so maybe Maybe it would have to go there, or it's quite pretty there, actually. Perhaps we'll have it there. So again, just press that down. Just gonna glue that lace down for the same reason. Just because once that wax piece is on there, I don't want it then, you know, on uh, it would be glued on basically to flapping ribbon uh flapping lace you know which of course then would be like a vulnerable point so i just don't really want that there we go like that oh my goodness that cover is so pretty oh i love how it turns out it's just gorgeous i mean i really hope that you guys can see that but I mean, how could it not be cute? The flower fairy, she's just gorgeous, isn't she? But with all those pretty purpley type things, oh, she just looks amazing, doesn't she? I just, oh, I love it. Really, really, really love it. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to do the cover. And, um, you know, I know I've talked about this before, but I do sometimes get a little bit kind of nervous about covers. Um, you know, they're sort of, yeah, they can be a bit fiddly. And I mean... In my 40,000 subscriber giveaway, I talked about, you know, um, or I asked you guys, you know, to say what your junk journal, junk journal nemesis is. And lots of you did mention covers. And definitely, definitely covers were my junk journal nemesis, like for the longest time. Um, you know, they were the thing that I dreaded most. And I most often did do the covers last on a journal. I have to say that probably still is the case. I do do the covers last. But... 
I do now really, really enjoy doing the covers. I have to say for me, it's really helped since making toppers and things and since having a lot of things ready made. That has definitely been a game changer for me. Um, you know, going, oops, just see if that's the right way up for these. Going in blind and, you know, just having to kind of conjure up a cover, I, yeah, definitely, definitely used to really struggle with doing that. Um, but having a lot of, you know, ready-made elements, I mean, the toppers obviously are amazing because they really bring it together very, very quickly. I mean, here we've not used a ready-made topper, but of course we just rustled this one up, didn't we? Um, you know, they really bring a cover together very nicely. And other things that are ready-made also really do help. So, um, yeah, for me, I think kind of having a lot of different bits and pieces you know like your wax seal pieces or like these little ribbon pieces all of those things just help to bring the cover together very quickly and easily because you know just by literally sticking oops sticking a few things layered on top of one another it brings the cover together really um really easily doesn't it oh that's so cute isn't it so, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether that needs anything else, to be honest. I mean, I'm not sure I could even fit much else on there. Um, what do we think? Do we think it needs anything else or do we think it looks really scrummy and just gorgeous as it is? I think it does look really, really pretty, to be honest. Um, the only other thing, perhaps, could we have a little flower down there or maybe here? I mean, we could could have one poking out. I mean, I don't know as it really is adding anything, to be honest. So all I want to do now is just kind of do something with the back. I tend to use, leave, sorry, not use, leave the backs very plain. Um, you know, because to me, I think just psychologically, I think, oh, well, that's the back of the journal. It doesn't need kind of big decorative things. Um, so, yeah, I will probably just leave the back of this pretty much as it is. Um, we could just kind of add maybe like some flowers or something. And the other thing is I haven't done the closure. So depending on what closure I use. So, I mean, for instance, here I have got this sorry silk. Admittedly, it's two completely different colours, which, yeah, that's kind of a step too far for me. Um, what we could do is actually attach the sorry silk to the back and then just kind of like have it wrapped around. That's quite nice, isn't it? In which case... I would want to cover up definitely where it's glued. So I'm just going to pull in some more sorry silk that's hopefully consistent purple rather than purple and blue. Um, this is kind of weird because uh, this purple sorry silk, a lot of it is blue, weirdly enough. Yeah, I hadn't really noticed that until now, but it's got a lot of blue mixed mixed in with it so right let me just pull in some purple mm -hmm. okay obviously want oops quite a long length so yeah like that okay and then right let me just double this up I think it's probably way too long to be honest it doesn't need to be anywhere near that length but okay so move this out the way and then with this sorry silk here like I say this is actually way too long so probably could um yeah could probably chop it in half but just having a look where the you know because it's been stitched together in places so yeah there might be a kind of natural point so here I mean that's quite a vulnerable point it's not got hardly any there and you probably saw how easily that tore off so that's not a good point or not a good one to add so if I were to have the whole thing oh it's still way too long yeah still way too long okay okay let's have a look so if I were to have this going round, I would wrap round like that and tuck in here. So yeah, that's probably around about the length that I want it. So I'm just going to take this one and cut that off. 
and then here oops where I had it joined so yeah all I've done is basically folded this in half so that I'm going to have double you know double um doubled up sari silk and then all I'm going to do is glue this down somewhere on the back now up to you really if you're doing things like this whether you glue it here on this edge or obviously here on this edge and I will probably cover this up with like maybe say some crochet so that may determine you know where you want to have it because obviously you know it probably doesn't look great there because I've already got these bits of crochet therefore it would look better here and the crochet over there so yeah let me just check that that's going to work wrapping around yes it will so yeah all I'm going to do is glue this down in here like that okay so let's just press that down with my wipe oops okay and then all I'm going to do is put my crochet piece straight over the top of that like that now personally I'm not so keen on that straight edge so I'm just going to try and tear that off just so that my edge looks much more you know ruggedy ruggedy raggedy like that that for me just looks a lot nicer now so yep yeah, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just run some glue straight down the more solid parts of this lace or the crochet like that okay and yep yeah, oops like that Yay. like that press that in Okie dokie. That's it. Just check really, like, you know, might want to put just a dab more glue under here just because obviously I hadn't glued the sorry silk. So just, you know, a little bit of glue there. You know, I always think just more, more glue is better than not enough. So like that. And then again, my cover then, or your closure, is just a little wraparound closure and tuck straight in on itself like that so yeah I mean how gorgeous does that look really really scrumptious I have to say I think that's maybe one of my favorite covers that I've actually ever done now, I think just because you know I love those blues and purples together they look so 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 pretty so yeah I hope that you like it um I now obviously need to just stuff all my pockets and things with some bits of bobs and then I will be back with the flip through. So, yep, I hope you like it. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks then. Bye.